Recently, I became captivated by the vast assortment of Mountain Dew flavors. Not to mention the history, the variety, and even the commercials. But what I set out to do was for one thing, and one thing only. My legacy. I was going to do something nobody named J. Matthew has ever done before. Drink a different, available, Mountain Dew flavor every day for two weeks. I wasn't going to die knowing I didn't climb this Mountain of Dew. Dead me wouldn't be able to deal with that. So there I went. Bring on Daily Dew. And of course there'll be ones that I can't try, like ones from Malaysia and like ones that came out three years ago that aren't available anymore. This is really just the permanent ones and the ones that are available in the USA at all times. And then I have like, I still have a Christmas flavor from last year. That's about it. So today, the very first flavor to begin this massive dew gauntlet will be Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. Now this one's really weird. It's a Circle K exclusive uh, that I had to get shipped in because there's no Circle K near me. So yeah, I think there's one like a few states away or at least like just hours and hours away. The flavor says it's a berry plum flavor. Cheers. Man, that's weird. That's definitely as weird as a berry plum flavor that I could have expected. I think it's good, but it's interesting. See, I don't know what a plum tastes like, but like this is what I would imagine something like a plum would taste like. Just weird and purple. Uh, on the tier list that I'm gonna be doing now, uh, I'll put it at a solid. It could move as time goes on, but for now, it's gonna go in the A tier. All right, now from here on out, the rest of the days are gonna be pretty fast. See you in the future, me. It's time to try thrashed apple. That is right, flavor number two of the Dew Gauntlet will be thrashed apple. And this is a Kroger exclusive, so I had to get this one shipped in as well. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Dude number two. And no, I have not had this one before. So I, again, this is my first time trying one of these. Ooh, that smells good. See, I like like sour apple stuff, so. Ooh, that smells great. All right. Ooh, yeah. Not as sour as I expected, but it has that taste. That green apple, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Solid A tier. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, it's still the second time, the day, second day. Um, but we're already on to the third flavor because I took an unexpected drive to uh, Sam's Club. They have an exclusive flavor that I've been wanting to go there to get for a little bit now since this uh, full project started. So today there will be a bonus flavor. It is Sam's Club's very own Berry Monsoon. It said it was a berry lime flavor. Definitely get the lime in there, yeah, and and the berry. It's almost like Baja Blast, um, but just a slightly different. I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, really solid. I'm gonna give it A tier. All right, it is now day three. Today's flavor is another exclusive. It is Mountain Dew Overdrive. It's exclusive to a store called Casey's. Uh, I don't really know where it is in the US, but it's not near me. And it is a citrus punch flavor. And again, I've never had it before. I'm gonna throw in the A tier, because it is more of like a better live wire. And live wire, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put in like B tier. Spoiler alert. Actually, I lied to you guys, it's still day three, um, but I was able to get my hands on the KFC exclusive Mountain Dew, which is Sweet Lightning. And actually, um, this is the first flavor that I've had before, so I know what it tastes like, I know where I'm probably gonna rank it, um, but let's just have it for the sake of the project in the video. I didn't really like it at first when I first had it, but it actually it grew on me the more I had it. But I'm gonna have to give it B tier. I knew this day would come. It's been in the fridge, along with the other ones that I ordered, um, but this one's a little bit different in a way. It's day four, and this right here is the Food Lion exclusive Mountain Dew flavor called Uproar. But the reason why I've been dreading this moment for so long, you know, for a full four days, is because the date is February 7th of 2022. So this was bottled in like 2021 and I have to drink it. But that is why today is very interesting because we're gonna find out if it's flat, if it tastes bad, if like the plastic has melted into the drink, um, if I die. Yep, there was little to no seal on that. It probably is very flat. Char it says charged with berry kiwi. All right, fellas, cheers. Ugh, yeah, no fizz at all. Not in the slightest. That is, the ta okay, it's gonna be hard to rank cause it's not, you know, it's not fizzy. So how am I supposed to rank this? It's like old and I don't even know. That was not worth it. Yeah, that second sip was bad. All right, that is uproar. I'm gonna go dump this out. You know what, I'm gonna make a category just so I don't make uproar fans mad. I'm gonna say unrankable or whatever I'm gonna call the tier. I'm sure it would be good normally. I can tell the flavor is decent, but it's definitely not 
fresh. All right, day five, and the flavor for today will be Livewire. It's their orange soda flavor. I've had it before, it's a permanent flavor, so it's pretty common in most places in the US. Mountain Dew Livewire, let's see how it holds up. All it really is is just another orange soda, like Crush or Fanta, but Mountain Dew gets it right anyway. So as an orange soda, you're gonna compare it to all the other Dew flavors that we've had so far. On the tier list, I'm gonna put it at I'm gonna put an A tier. It is officially day six of the Dew Gauntlet, and uh, today we have a classic flavor. It's a, one of the permanent flavors. Um, not that classic though, not yet. It is Mountain Dew Voltage. Yeah, this one's very good. It really has that voltage, like electric raspberry taste. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in the A tier. No way. Could it be? Day seven of the Daily Dew Project series? Oh my God, what could be today's flavor? What could be the day seven one week flavor? Well, it is none other than Code Red. That is right, today's flavor for day seven will be one of the permanent flavors in Code Red. It's described as dew with a rush of cherry. Again, I have had this one before. It's another one that I've had already. Um, but again, let's see how it holds up. Yeah, uh, I really enjoy Code Red, so I'm gonna throw it in the A tier. It's day eight, and today's flavor is none other than April of this year's, if it'll focus, Summer Freeze. But yeah, it is April of 2023's uh, limited time only flavor called Summer Freeze. I don't know why they released it in April and discontinued it when summer basically started, but the label describes it as a blast of summer Americana. It has a very unique taste to it. Um, it is like an ice pop, like the label suggests. And uh, yeah, solid A tier. Dew Gauntlet Day 9, Mountain Dew Slushy, found in the wild. Let's go. If it was rankable, B tier. Well, it's day 10 of the Daily Dew Gauntlet, and I missed like two or three days. You saw yesterday I did the slushy one. That one will just be in the unrankable section. That one was just as a bonus, because I found it at the uh, park I was at. Yeah, I just didn't do any of uh, any actual Mountain Dew flavors for a couple days. That is why today we're doing a two in one day. So today's combo will be Maui Burst Mountain Dew and Original Mountain Dew. Probably won't finish either of these for reasons you'll see in a few minutes. Um, so yeah, let's begin with Maui Burst. This one is their pineapple flavor that came out, I think, a year or two ago. And it's a, it's a Dollar General ex exclusive. It, it, it's a good pineapple flavor, I can see that. I just don't like pineapple. For me, it's C tier. And then the one that started it all, the Mountain Dew original flavor. Yeah, I've had it before. I um, had it for the first time actually in a while, a couple weeks ago, and I still have the same thoughts on it. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll actually drink this one. I'll put it in B tier for now, but it could move to C. Aha, there we go. So obviously we got our Baja Blast at the Walmart behind me. It's finally time to try Baja Blast. This is the holy grail of the Mountain Dew. The first time having it in the bottled form in a year, and I think I know where it's gonna go. It's beautiful, it's refreshing, it's the greatest thing I've ever had in my life. It's S tier. Well, fellas, it's still day 11, but I think it's time we, uh turn today into a triple threat. I already did Baja Blast earlier in the Walmart parking lot, but uh, as I've shown earlier, there are two brand new Baja flavors that came out today that I will be adding to this Dew project. Like I said, there's two brand new Mountain Dew flavors that came out today, and they're both uh, spin-offs of Baja Blast. First one is Baja Passion Fruit Punch, which is a passion fruit flavored uh, Mountain Dew. This one is Caribbean Splash, which is a guava flavored Mountain Dew. Again, it is still day 11, and uh, yeah, let's get into these two new flavors. First I'm going with is Passion Fruit Punch. I, I expect to like this one less than the other one. It smells kind of like Purple Thunder, which is uh, one of the first ones we did. It tastes a little bit better than I thought, um, based off the smell and the flavor name. Off the first taste, I was like, okay, I might not like this a ton. 
um, you know, it's still good, but eh. And then I got this like little hint of like sourness, like a grape sourness, or like I guess a passion fruit sourness, maybe they're similar. I think without that little aspect of it, I, w I would probably throw it in the C tier, but with that little hint of sourness and whatever I just got, this one goes in the B tier. And next we have the guava flavor, Caribbean Splash. I do expect to like this one more, but I never really had guava stuff before. I feel like they taste kind of similar in terms of like the tropicalness of them. I think both of the brand new Mountain Dew Baja flavors for this year are both gonna go in the B tier. Well, everyone, today's a very sad day for the Dew Gauntlet or the Daily Dew Project video. I have no idea what it's really called, um, but it is now day 12 or something like that. Today is the final boss of the Dew Gauntlet. Well, there's a way bigger final boss tomorrow that I'll be recording at too many games um, because it's the most evil, most gut-wrenching, most below F-tier flavor um, that I have to try for this video and I'm choosing it as the last one because I really don't want to have that again. But today is the safe final boss. It's actually full of flavors that I actually do like and the reason why I say full of flavors is because today is what we call crunch time day because today we have to do four different flavors, four different kinds of Mountain Dew to finish off this gauntlet. And those four are Zero Sugar Baja Blast. Of course, we already had the normal Baja Blast. Then we have Major Melon, then we have Spark, and then we have Frostbite. All right, stage one of the final boss. This will be the Zero Sugar Baja Blast. Now, I had this last year, right? I think I remember not liking it because without the sugar in Baja Blast, it was just bitter or something. Um, but the reason why I am including this in the first place is because people do say the zero sugar versions are kind of different and worth like trying. It's got that weird bitterness to it. It's like, ugh. Baja Blast really needs that unhealthiness to it, huh? Zero sugar Baja Blast, I'm gonna throw in the C tier. Phase two of the final boss, let's go. This is Mountain Dew Major Melon. Me personally, I don't, I don't love watermelon stuff, but compared to Zero Sugar Baja Blast, I will drink this. Major Melon, going in the B tier. Phase three is gonna be Raspberry Lemonade, which is uh, Mountain Dew Spark. Um, I actually do remember like this one a lot. Yeah, it's not very cold though, so that might affect it a little bit. I actually just drove to the grocery store. It's like 7 a.m. right now. Mountain Dew Spark, here we go. Raspberry Lemonade, man. We need we need more of it in the world, because. Oh yeah, and since this flavor is so good, this is actually a like the video checkpoint. Um, so go down below and hit a spark. on Spark up that like button. And then the final part of this uh, semi-final boss is Walmart's very own Mountain Dew Frostbite. In my opinion, it's better than Voltage, because Voltage is good, don't get me wrong, but I, th I do think Summer Freeze is better than this. This one kind of reminds me of like a cotton candy, blue ice. Yeah, this is better than what I remember. And that'll be the final ranking before tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna rank Frostbite on the A tier. Found an unexpected addition. Mountain Dew Blue Shock Freeze. No, 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 no. I, no. Why do I have to try that tomorrow? Well, guys, uh, somewhere in there, uh, Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. We just did two takes of the final Dew Gauntlet flavor. I said my thoughts about it. I said I didn't like looking at it. Look nasty. Um, I tried it again. I, I remember the flavor wasn't as terrible as it was the last time. I saw some good in it, but I went over and threw it away because on the tier list, I put it in the burn it tier. Um, but I think it's I think it was fate that it was on camera because no one wants to see that anyway. So just imagine me trying the most disgusting thing on earth. Thank you guys. Well, you guys actually won't have to imagine because now one month later, I've decided to actually take the plunge once again and show you guys me trying Fruit Quake on camera. Um, so obviously you just saw that I didn't get it on camera last time because we didn't hit, hit record or whatever, um, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna do it anyway, just for your guys' entertainment to finally give real closure to this project. Here we go. Before I do this, I wanna say that the tier list here it is, fully completed. There's things that I had to move around because I, you know, I had thought more about it. And this is my final tier list. 
Oh God, it's not even, I didn't even put it in the fridge. It's it's expired for the past nine months or whatever, eight months, I think five months, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, God. Please support this video because it's very different from what I usually do. So support it, share it, and uh, let's get it. Oh. No, oh God, the aftertaste is the worst part. It's a it's a fruit quake flavor. What what do you expect? Jesus, that's disgusting. I'm dumping this out right now. Thank you guys. See ya. Hey everyone, Jay Matthew here. This is uh, the Nathan's Run Nine, and uh, I'm currently downtown Toronto on a little trip. Basically, I'm from Newfoundland, and we don't have 7-Eleven. But uh, recently, uh, before coming here, I seen this ad on TV. For 7-Eleven that said there's a Mountain Dew Supernova slushy that's in Canada in 7-Elevens. And since I was coming here so soon, I was like, hey, I gotta I gotta try this. So I knew Jim Matthews was working on this big Mountain Dew video, so I was like, hey, I can go try it for you. Um, because I wanted to try it anyways. So um I asked him, hey, I can film a little clip for you uh, with me getting it. Um if you want to throw it in the video. So here it is. Not gonna lie, I've already drank most of it because uh the Mountain Dew Supernova slushy is really good. I remember having um, this, I remember having the actual like flavor um, of a soda um, years ago that had in Canada, at least had this contest um, for these four flavors. It was like Voltage, Whiteout, Code Red, and then Supernova. That was the last time I had it. Um, but now it's in the slushy uh, Slurpee format in Stone Elevens in Canada. So uh, since the States doesn't have it, I thought I'd give it a try, throw it in the video. You gotta say really good. So, uh, 